hello everybody welcome back to exotic astrology and the other day somebody asked me that the eclipses are, are going to happen in the coming month the next 30 35 days so what actually happens when there's an eclipse and what is the astrological significance and what are the things that we should be doing during an eclipse okay this is general for solar eclipse lunar eclipse for any eclipse okay so if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation and you want to know that how the coming eclipses are going to affect you and the various areas of your life then you can go to my website the link is there in the description below and you can book a consultation there okay and you can also share this video specifically with your friends colleagues co-workers and roommates <laughs> and you can uh, pass them also this knowledge that what they can do during an eclipse all right there you go and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and he will help you understand what eclipses are so eclipses technically astrologically we know that when sun and moon they are in close proximity with either one of the nodes which is rahu or ketu then there is an eclipse what happens actually during an eclipse the luminaries sun and moon they represent ourselves we inside so the sun shows the atma the way we uh, the way we uh, behave in this world the way we exist our very uh, sense of existence is controlled by the sun and moon shows the manas the mind how we perceive this world what do we think of this world what do i think of you what do you think of me what do you think of him or her how do you feel about this job how do you feel about the president of this country how do you feel about the mobile phone all this is controlled by the moon it is totally feeling based everything is based on feelings and depending on that moon is like the filter by which the soul is experiencing things in this life so when the sun and moon they come in close proximity with either rahu or ketu then it is said there's an eclipse so what happens when there's an eclipse actually what rahu ketu represents we need to know that first so rahu ketu will represent things from the past and future also so rahu ketu when they come in close proximity with the sun and moon then they have the power to impact us in the most strongest way which means that they can also do it when they are near to jupiter or saturn or mars or mercury or venus they can do it then also but when they are in close proximity to either sun or moon or both then they can do it very strongly which means our desires desires is shown by future which means that we have some thing which is unfulfilled something which we want in ourselves to feel complete that is what is desire and the living entity always keeps desiring either it's material or spiritual that's the difference and our karma is also the actions that we do in the current moment and what we'll do in the future and also from the past whatever we have been doing and the results of that so when there is an eclipse then rahu ketu which signifies our past actions and rather than saying past actions it's like the samskaras samskaras means the impressions which are there in the mind because the mind is the uh, it's the carrier of the subtle body the subtle body has mind intelligence and false ego mana ahankara <laughs> mind intelligence is buddhi you know man buddhi hankar these three things make up the subtle body the subtle body is like this uh, is like me and this gross body is like this dress which i am wearing so this dress is not me it is actually me who is me <laughs> it's confusing right uh, so subtle body is like the software okay and that is the storehouse of all the impressions of all the activities from the past lives and that creates our future desires for example if a person is 
meeting people who are drinking smoking or indulging in illicit sex then that person will also get those desires that person will also feel like doing things in that domain but the same person if he or she goes to the association of holy people in a satsang then that person will develop spiritual desires and feel a desire to connect to god and thereby go close to him and then he or she will also start reading the scriptures doing mantras visiting holy places meeting holy people there so what is happening is his current actions are shaping his mind the subtle body which contains the mind and then that is causing the desire in the future so because of that we need to ensure that we give good inputs during the time of eclipses to ourselves because rahu ketu will show what we want to achieve always and when they are in close proximity to the sun and moon then that shows that in this current lifetime in the current time where we are now the time has come for those things to come in the forefront now that will depend individually on the horoscope if you have rahu transiting over your jupiter now so for example if somebody has jupiter in cancer then it can happen that something to do with children or whichever house is jupiter is ruling or spirituality or gurus those things can come into forefront especially after the eclipse which is on august 11 2018 uh then if you have planets like mercury something to do with uh, your uncles or your relatives or your uh, friends or whichever houses mercury is ruling those things can come into forefront if it is venus it, it can be women or your spouse so these things which we were desiring that can now come into because now rahu ketu has the power to eclipse the sun and moon that means they have the control to give the things from the past to the sun moon and help it go towards the future not help i would say force it <laughs> it will force it therefore now whatever we do during the time of eclipse is very important because whatever will happen that is not in our control but there there are certain things in our control that is we can do good if we want we can always do good and we can also decide the reaction of our uh, the the response to the reactions for example if suppose there is something bad which happens to you during the time of eclipse then you have the free will to either react or respond react means you just behave like an animal animal means oh you beat me i'll also beat you you harm me i'll also harm you that's that's an animalistic instinct but when you respond you understand that that is a part of my karma and i need to act in a responsible manner just because that person has done something bad to me it is not in the good will of my life that i also do go and do some harm to that person justice is different but i am saying of taking revenge that's a very small example i am saying suppose there is a friend who cheats you during this time of eclipse then we should not later go and cheat that person because that will create another karma and again when there is an eclipse again that karma will backfire suppose the uh, spouse with whom you are staying that spouse does something he or she behaves in ways which make us feel that we exist for them <laughs> then we should take care that we do not behave like them otherwise what will be the difference between them and you no difference right they behaved wrong in a wrong manner you are also behaving in the same way so therefore let us be very careful when we respond to the activities which happened to us during an eclipse and this can happen between one month here or there so for example on july 13 there is an eclipse it's a partial solar eclipse so it can happen that around the time now around this time till the end of or i would say till 15th august because 
all the eclipses are there within these one month 13 july to 11th august so during these days you can feel that there are certain things which are happening in your life which are beyond your control and you are not able to change it it, it can happen if you have planets in the cancer capricorn axis or even if you don't have planets you will still have it in some house okay so for that we will have to uh, check the individual horoscope and see what is happening how planet is getting aff affected if you have any planet which is in cancer or capricorn and that planet is severely afflicted then it might happen that there is some challenge which is coming up or if that planet is very well placed in a raj yoga it can happen that you become a king can happen <laughs> so that will depend on what what's the promise of the horoscope the natal chart and it will also depend on the dasha which you are running i have not discussed on dashas now but very soon i'll be discussing dasha shows time periods so for example now you may be running the dasha of venus for example and if rahu is also transiting over your venus which is in gemini or cancer then that will have a very strong impact in your life either good or bad that's separate but suppose you are running your saturn mahadasha and your saturn is in cancer now then that will have a different flavor if your jupiter is in capricorn and ketu is transiting over that it can be a great time for spirituality and if your jupiter antar dasha or mahadasha is also running so this is how uh, the eclipses actually work you see which planets are there in the houses wherever there are ecl there the eclipses falling in your chart as for, as per your ascendant or moon sign whatever you call it because the planets will stay in the same sign either you take the ascendant or the moon and those houses and those planets will get affected and if you don't have any planets then also it will be uh, there will be an effect because the houses are anyways getting touched okay so let us be careful in uh, responding properly to things which happen during an eclipse and apart from that we can do the vishnu sastra naam always that we can always do during an eclipse because that will help us protect ourselves because see what rahu is rahu is basically the demon right demon not in a figurative sense but that i mean in that sense also but generally it represents materialistic desire rahu is the cause of our birth rahu will tell us that oh look this is what you wanted to achieve in your past life and because you didn't get that so you took another birth and now you will take another birth maybe <laughs> so it becomes very important that uh, we take care of our desires so during an eclipse it is very important that we cultivate the right kind of desires which means that eclipses are perfect times for starting new spiritual activities for example chanting new mantras or stotrams like we have the vishnu sahasranam there are so many other things that we can do vishnu sahasranam is one very important thing that we can do so starting from uh, the 13th till the end of 11th august or 12th august you can take we can make sure that we recite the vishnu sahasranam every day that we can do and then during this time on 13th we can also start reading new uh, new books new scriptures we can start reading the gita or the shrimad bhagavatam we can do that and then we can also go and meet holy people who are there in our city or we can travel to a holy place these are best times to do that because now what is happening is it's like a door is opening of old things to come and that will set our new passage so for example if suppose something is happening in your life take example of a negative event okay suppose somebody gets some trouble during this eclipse in whichever area of his life then now if the person channelizes his energy properly then with this trouble which comes when he moves ahead he will be able to overcome that problem overcome that problem doesn't mean that problem will disappear but he will be able to tackle through it by the grace of god because he is doing spiritual activities so and now it's like the new door it's like a new cycle which is happening so the new door is opening so you are coming to the door and 
all the desires will come from the past and then you will enter a new room so ensure that you enter the new room with a nice dress <laughs> because whatever is there in your past that you cannot control that is good or bad whatever that is but you can at least ensure that you wear a nice dress at least <laughs> which means now we can do good activities and that will shape our future and we can also give donations and especially in temples and to brahmins we can do that that's very essential and we can also go and donate things to our gurus whoever has given us uh, this divine knowledge whoever has given us inspiration to practice spirituality whoever has given inspiration to look towards god athato brahma jigyasa as the shrimad bhagavatam says so if you can give donation to your gurus that is fantastic donation is not necessarily monetary you can call them and ask that if you need any help uh, if, if there's anything need, needed to be done in in any place you can go there and you can do it or you can give some clothes or anything i mean whatever is required or you can help monetary ways also whatever is possible yes and if you cannot do anything then on the day of eclipse it is very good if you can just sit and chant this mantra of ram just simply take the name of ram you can keep taking the name of ram whole day or you can take some vishnu mantra om namo narayanaya this mantra you can chant or om namo bhagavate vasudevaya this mantra you can chant or you can chant om namo bhagavate trivikramaya this you can chant or the so many mantras you can chant <laughs> Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Vamanaya This you can chant These are the different mantras you can chant You can chant the Stotram for Narsingha Dev Vishnu Sastanam you can chant Alright And it is also very good if we can Fast during the eclipses Because that shows some level of purification Which we are doing within ourselves It is like when you get up in the morning You just don't go and eat a pizza Or some strawberry chocolate you first go take bath clean your clean your teeth clean your body then you go and eat right we don't just directly go and uh, jump to the fridge although some people do that sometimes but that's not good okay so let us prepare ourselves for the new uh, beginning which every uh, that we are going to have all, all right and by that we can ensure that we are doing some austerities and the other thing uh, i would say is we can do is if there is something which we are planning to give up because when the talk comes of giving up ketu comes into picture and ketu will always be in the picture if it's eclipse so if we are having a desire of giving up something like many people have told me that oh i am started to become a vegetarian after seeing your videos i was very happy to hear that but they are telling that oh but that we are still summer dangling in between we are not totally a vegetarian we are trying to give up meat but still that linger is always there <laughs> it's lingering in our heart so eclipses are the days where we can say that's it end of the story nothing doing anymore if you are smoking i don't know you are a occasional smoker or you are a chain smoker how does it matter after all? you you are smoking that means that habit is controlling you so and if you plan to give up this habit if you plan hopefully <laughs> then eclipse is the best day to do that and to make resolutions to make commitments not like new year resolutions of course which gets extinguished in the first 15 days of january month but now is the time that we take vows because rahu is also near to the sun and moon during eclipse so then those things will be invested in rahu also and then our desires will be channelized properly so there's a lot of fear mongering for eclipses that oh this will happen that will happen no is the, the eclipses are nothing exceptional they are they just show that how our karma is going to unfold depending on the chart and as i said we have no control over that that will anyways happen but we can ensure that we do good things now at least so that our future is bright all right 
and of course you can also go and give helping hand to people whoever is in need you can also do, do that and the best thing to do in an eclipse is go and spread spiritual knowledge so if you have knowledge of the divine scriptures like the gita and the bhagavatam it is best you call up somebody and say hey listen i will talk to you and you will listen <laughs> of course that person may not listen but still <laughs> somehow you try to put something because it can happen that if you do that during the time of an eclipse then that person may take it who knows <laughs> yes we may we, we we may tell somebody that you can do this mantra now it's an eclipse tomorrow who knows if that person does it that day maybe he keeps doing it for the rest of his life who knows and if you are a married man if you have a family your wife is there your parents are there your children are there then go and sit together with your whole family and recite the vishnu sahasranam read the scriptures no need to go to parties <laughs> for one month no parties sacrifice this time okay so that is what you can do and if you are having some bad habit like watching pornography or masturbation or wine, drinking wine or smoking or eating meat all these things if you are having then try to try to refrain from it till the time of eclipse goes okay so till august 15 try not to do all those things and yes lastly we can always pray to god prayers always help and they always work so they say that prayers go up and blessings come down <laughs> all right so these are the things that we can do and we can also visit holy places and that is what we can do and we can read the scriptures like the ramayana we can discuss about the stories we can discuss about stories from the mahabharat from the shrimad bhagavatam that also we can do all right and we can also learn a few shlokas sometimes <laughs> these are the things that we can and we should and we must and we hopefully do it <laughs> as the eclipse season starts all right and there's nothing to fear there's lot of fear mongering which goes on around eclipses i i don't know from where this has originated there's no scriptural a uh, statement or uh, any saying that says oh eclipse has started your life is going to be hell now there's there's no saying like that okay at least i don't know of anything which is there and we can also fast as i said and that is all try to give up something which is bogging you too much okay and do good things and help people and pray to god that is what i would say okay and if you want to personally know what is going on in your chart and how these eclipses are going to affect you then you can go to my website and book a reading and that is it if you are new to the channel please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is wondering what to do during an eclipse and will his life be destroyed <laughs> after an eclipse don't worry you have survived so many eclipses you will also survive the next e eclipse okay there you go wish you good luck bye bye god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you cross over this eclipse also and all the other remaining eclipses also which will come in your lifetime okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you